are in the highest. Thank you, Ancient of Days, for this moment again. We bring your words to the people, friends. Have you changed your ways? Have you changed your evil ways? Have you given Jesus Christ a chance in your life? Don't be like Judas Iscariot. Don't be like the devil, the father of all lies. Jesus Christ is calling unto you this morning. Repent and give him a chance before it's too late. The Bible says, for there is no salvation in no other. For there is no other name given under heaven that we might be saved. There is no other name that can take you to the kingdom of heaven but the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to know that he loves you dearly. He loves you dearly. He does not want you to perish. He, after all, he died on the cross of Calvary for all sinners. He has finished the work of salvation on the cross of Calvary. Repent this morning and accept him as your Lord and as your Savior. It has been said that if your name, if you are not found written in the book of life, you are going to be thrown into the lake of fire. You can find that in Revelations, the book of Revelations. Jesus Christ will always be with you once you give your life to him. After all, we are many in the world. And the rain is falling upon us day after day. The rain is not segregating us. Maybe you, are, you believe in him or you do not believe in him. That will show you how loving God is to us. God did not separate the sinners from those that call them, themselves righteous. Or those that are righteous. Indeed. He is blessing all at the same time. It's blessing all at the same time. But is your blessing to the glory for the glory of God or for the damnation of your soul? You may say you are blessed. After all, you are blessed. You have money. You, you are rich. You are wealthy. So what, what do you need Jesus for, for? I'm telling you, you need Jesus for the salvation of your soul. Because the day is coming that you are going to give account of everything you've done in this world. You may even say, I have wealth and I've been helping people. I've been distributing my wealth to people. But my, 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 my friend, I want you to know that unless you believe in the Lord, you truly believe in it. Because you may say, I, I have had it before and I believe, yes, that I came into this world. I believe. But do you really believe? Have you asked him for forgiveness of your sins? Have you asked him to cleanse the wickedness in you? You may say you are wealthy and you are still well, uh, you are, uh, they say you are wicked, but you are we are wealthy. I'm telling you, Adam, our father Eve, our, our father Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden, they've sold us to, to the devil. Unless you repent of that sin, you repent of the of your sins. And ask Jesus, Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of that sin, of, of those sins. There's no way you can enter into the kingdom of heaven. Or there's an, another world after this earth. There's another world after, after this world. There's another earth after this earth. The Bible says that a new heaven and a new earth will appear. My brothers and my sisters, you have to accept the Lord Jesus Christ. If you want to enter his kingdom, there, there are no two ways about it. All those good deeds that you say you are doing, you are doing it to your, to your, to, for, for your own damnation. It won't take you anywhere unless you first give him a chance in your life. The Bible says, seek first God's righteousness. Just seek for, that, you, that we should seek first his righteousness. That we should seek first God's kingdom and his righteousness. And all these, all these things shall be added unto you. You have to seek God first. After you have seeked God first, then every other thing 
it shall be added unto you seek you may say you are wealthy but remember you have to have jesus in your life if you want to inherit the kingdom of, of god you may say you are doing good deeds those good deeds those good deeds that you say you are you are, you are doing are just like dead rags in front of our lord jesus christ unless you give your life to him he has to cleanse you first of all your sins that's the way it is jesus christ is lord he loves you does not want you to perish accept him tomorrow might be too late jesus is lord